Hopkins, who is from El Paso. Artisan will throw on first down. He puts it in the air. Receiver wide open. That's Jacob Cowing. The secondary, Danny, that's the big. Never got an explanation from the referee. Here's Deion Hankins, and he's tackled in the backfield. Tackle tip offense. They averaged 23 Defense. points per game last season. Hardison from his own end zone. Lofts it downfield, and it's caught by Jacob Cowing. And he's taken down from behind by newcomer Torin Union. The man in motion was Forrest McKee, who's from Las Cruces. He's the fullback. And Hankins will rumble inside the 15. Integrity there and not let him get underneath you to push you back. Hankins will charge ahead. He bounces off a couple of defenders, and he's all the way down. Rushing touchdowns a season ago for Hankins. The give is right back to him. He stays on his feet, and he bulldozes into the end zone. First series with Hankins. They do have four running backs they can use, but they're going to stay with Deion Hankins. Aggie's trying to... Zach Fryer is the tight end wing left. New running back for the Miners. It is Ronald Awat. They will use four. Hankins, four percent. Third down and short. Hardest in throws. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. In Hobbs, New Mexico. Transfer from New Mexico military in Roswell. And he completes the pass to Garrett, who's across midfield into Aggie. Tech. Counted for 72% of the Miners receiving yards. Last season, this is Ronald Awa, second down and eight. Awa trying to bounce it to the outside. And he's going to be well short, so third down All game for the Yagis since 2019. Hardison gives it to Hankins. He's trying to muscle to the yardage needed. And Danny, he's in a full transition to the secondary. Miners going for it on fourth down, trying to push the pile. It's seven games last year for the Miners, his second year as a starter. It wasn't a good snap. He still gives it off, though. Watts into the end zone for UTEP. Fullback Forrest McKee, who's from Las Cruces, was in motion. Here is Hankins. He shimmies through a hole. He's into the third level, and he's... Third game in 2020 for UTEP. Hankins had a lot of those. He ran for... 84 plus per game a season ago. The Yagi's able to stop the run here. Donovan A. Watts still the running back. Hardison belted as he throws, and it's intercepted. Every single starter and offense back this year for the Miners, and that is a one handed, wow. fantastic. Now backpedaling back to his linebacker position. Artisan will throw, caught, flag comes in, Cowing receives it, dragged down by New Hankins, still the tailback, and the give is to Dion Hankins, good play there, he's the signal caller for the Miners, hands it off to Awad, who ran for a score earlier, flag comes in, in near midfield for the Miners, Artisan pump fakes and then throws, and he skips it. Well, kind of no man's land here for Utah. Clean pocket for Hardison. Tons of time. Settles, throws, and it's incomplete. Michael Poju between Hankins and Awats. This is Awat cutting up field. Gets to the third level again. You can. Now it's Hankins, the ball carrier. Wrapped up by Chris Ojo. Receivers for the Miners. Garrett and Cowing. So they go to the ground for Hankins, and he's about a yard and a half short. Miners need the 47. Pressure from Brohar. Lob pass downfield, incomplete. Union in coverage. Late flag comes in. It was in. Stretch handoff. To Awad, he finds a couple of holes. On the tackle is running back Awad. He'll follow his big offensive line before being upended. This would be a long field goal for Beckley. Here's Hankins, and Trevor Brohard makes the big stop. Our third. And they're going to throw it. Our fourth and three out route caught. Enough yardage for the first. 
Give is to Hankins, charges for the Aggies stopping the run much better the last quarter. Just converted moments ago on fourth and three. Bullet pass near side, caught. That's Justin Garrett, Torin Union. He's gonna run it here with the fullback. That's James Tupo, the big left. Low snap, shoestring handle for Hardison. He's hit as he throws and it whistles out of bounds. Intended. It was a gain of two for Awat. Quick strike, complete. Justin Garrett makes the catch. Catch and run of 14 for Garrett. Hardison will pull it and throw it. Cowing makes a man miss. He will dart inside the 20 and he has a touchdown. He made McCullum in four early on in quarter three. Miners will continue to run the football. And this is Quadre's one. Takes advantage of the extra year. And he gets it on the stretch play. Instead of third and two, third and seven. Hardison completes the pass to Garrett, who was wide open across the middle. I mean, down. Here's Awat. Awat charges forward and collides with. There goes Cowling again, motioning behind Hardison. Here's Wadley again. He's going to ride Kayla Mills inside the 20. Actively, and it's still Wadley in the game. They're going to throw it. Cowling makes a diving catch. Michael Bogue. Hardison, design keeper, and he's dragged down. That's Donovan King, who's had the bulk of the carries in this half. The Aggies getting to the quarterback. Dump off to Wadley. Wadley, second effort, gets down to the... New quarterback for the Miners. Calvin Brownholtz takes over. Hands it off to Quadres Wadley, who continues to break tackles, nearing midfield. Any all sideline reports are brought to you by Memorial Medical Center. Aggies back on defense. Justin came in and gave him a spark, and I do think it's going to put a, some competition during the week. Willie Eldridge on the ground once again. Bravo will hand it off to Eldridge, and the Aggie D line stands tall. Bravo, still the quarterback for UTEP. He'll keep it himself. Four games in 2020 following a 3-1 and one start. They're going to leave Las Cruces with an impressive rival. Some of the regular guys are used to playing. Bravo will keep it again, trying to bounce it to the outside. Good open field tackle is made by 